Hello everyone and welcome to your second royal reading of this Tuesday evening. It's raining here again so I'm shouting over the rain and uh, with a bit of a hoist horse voice because we've been singing. But anyway I have the Knights Templar on the tarot table. I'm doing this reading uh, with a battery that's about to run out and in darkness around me because we have got a long session of load shedding this evening never ending load shedding in south africa but anyway five card reading with the knights templar tarot we're going to look at the story that neil sean broke and uh take it with a grain of salt perhaps but neil sean claims that king charles has offered a bit of a carrot to prince harry trying to lure him back for the coronation why uh, nobody can quite figure out but the carrot is that harry would be able to stand uh, for a portrait i assume a photograph not an actual portrait uh, but perhaps i'm wrong a portrait with just the king in all his coronation regalia harry and william just the three of them no Meghan markle allowed in the portrait um, the official portrait of king and sons I assume that the sons would be in their military outfits, which means that Prince Harry perhaps is going to be allowed to put himself in his uniform again. <sighs> the disgrace that he is, the drug addict that he has confessed himself to be, a uh, disgrace to the British Army, but anyway, allowed in his uniform, perhaps speculating uh, for that portrait. And then there is going to be another portrait that is going to be the future of the royal family, the king, his wife, Queen Camilla and William and Catherine and the Wales children. That is the future. No Megan. So we're going to look with the uh, Knights Templar Tarot and we're going to see is Harry tempted by this? Is this enough to lure him back? Put on your uniform. Again, I'm speculating and come and stand with me. How does William feel about this? And says William, is William going to push Harry into the dog bowl uh, while the portrait is being taken? Uh, if I were William, I'd be quite tempted. Um, how does Meghan feel about being told, allegedly, that she's not welcome and will not be in any of the official portraits? And uh, what's the outcome going to be? Is has been going to get on a private jet supplied by Tyler Perry, also somebody, and uh, fly over so he can get some notice and attention and uh, be, feel that he's special? He's somebody because he's here in the photos for posterity, the sake of posterity. Um, the king with uh, his one beloved son and then one son that one might call a traitor son. What an interesting card to come out. That is all speculation and let's remind you, let's shuffle it again, that this is a tarot reading for entertainment purposes and it is all just rumour and gossip and speculation and all just my opinion and all just energy that I read read on the royals because they're archetypal a bit of shakespearean drama going on there and uh we can learn from it of course and of course there is a disclaimer in the box below and uh five card reading and we look at the underlying energy of this reading too and see what is going on and what is going on is that we have not moved on from our sorrows six of swords in reverse and also the six of swords is a card of international travel and the card is in the reverse somebody who doesn't want to get on a plane and fly somebody who left somebody who doesn't want to come back but also as i say primary meaning somebody who can't leave the past behind can't leave their mental constructs behind swords are about mind and thoughts and fears and uh attacks of a certain kind yeah the dog agrees with me and that somebody can't let them go can't move on and uh, maybe can't get on a plane maybe can't afford to get on a plane i'm being snarky of course there is a private jet waiting somewhere for has been and his um his luggage his baggage shall we say his baggage and i don't mean his wife when i say his baggage um situation with this portrait the portrait of the artist as a not so young man oh 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 ten of swords this is not a happy reading more swords more thoughts more fear more ruin calumny uh ten of swords somebody whose reputation is ruined who is down and out 
down and out. Interesting that the angels are looking down at this wretch who's dead, who's finished, who's hit rock bottom. And the angels are pointing and saying, look, look. Uh, are they helping? Are they going to, is the sun coming up? Is this wretch going to rise from the dead? Uh, we'll have to wait to the 6th of May to see. I think the wretch is busy, busy in San Francisco right now. Uh, giving a speech or better up, telling them that they don't need coaching. They can just do ayahuasca. Who needs better up? Um, snarky for entertainment purposes. Um, so let's see, is Harry tempted by this? Is this something that appeals to him, to his narcissism, to his grandiosity, his alleged narcissism and alleged grandiosity? Come and stand with me in your finest uni uniform, darling boy. Decorate yourselves with all those fake medals that you have. And um, let's see, does he like the idea? We got the star in reverse. Now he's going to have a sulk. Uh, star is hope and healing and faith and purpose and the angels over there and everything is, is going to be okay in the end if you just believe. Uh, but no, it's in reverse. Harry knows that he is not the star of this occasion, even if he's offered a position next to his father and next to his brother in an official portrait in all their garb, whatever regalia and whatever they're going to decorate themselves with crowns and whatnot. Pearl Charles allegedly practicing shuffling around under the weight of that crown. Uh, it, 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 this is terrible. The Ten of Swords, the star in reverse is a Ten of Swords. It's despair, it's ruin, it's wretchedness, it's illness as well. It doesn't bode well. Well, I'm delighted. But if you're Charles and you're trying to lure your recalcitrant son back, perhaps so you can um, do an involuntary whatever with him and send him to rehab, um, then despair might be. Perhaps that book should have been called Despair. Um, so, uh, how does William feel about this latest ploy? Is he in on it or does he think it's a terrible idea? He's in on it. Page of Wands, it's, it's, a, it, it's a plus, it's a positive. And it could also be uh, lure him back. That Six of Swords in reverse, we need to flip it around. Somehow, any old how, lure him back with that nice message. And uh, then perhaps we can get him through that, the eye of the needle. And... Uh, uh, stick him away somewhere where he can have a sink and uh, without the wife around and without the substances around. Uh, this is this is a reading of wild speculation as I am wont to do and um, so listen to it at your peril and bear in mind that it is all just for entertainment purposes but William, William is, is, is for this. Uh, however much he might want to biff has been uh, when they're posing there and what fun that would be if he did, um, how the ratings would go up for the coronation. Um, but anyway, um, let's see how the wife feels about being cut out of this offer. And no, she's not welcome in the official portrait ever. The last one she was in was that one where she wore that foul khaki dress um, to the christening. I think it was Louis' christening and everybody else had uh, colour coordinated themselves beautifully in blue and she was in khaki and um, I hope someone managed to remove her all the khaki dress from that photo I'm sure they did I'm sure Carol was on it immediately again snarky uh, how does Megan feel about being left out Ooh, oh this is not fair fight 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 five of ones having a tantrum having a rant this is this uh, going to set her right off wind her up uh, five of Wands is one of their famous conflict cards and especially conflict within a group, within a team where you're all fighting for attention and notice and uh, victory and it's kind of a sparring energy, the Five of Wands um, sparring, testing each other to see who's, who's strongest who can dominate, that's what the Five of Wands is really about oh this is going to this is going to set off and provoke some sort of uh, clap back. My opinion. So, what's the outcome of this going to be? Is has been going to get on that plane so that he can be in that portrait and put on his uniform and his tassels? I don't know what they're called, but those gold things that they had to cut off um, because you know 
he had brought disgrace to the 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 uniform he was wearing um mm, is he going to do it is he going to fall for it yeah it could, could go either way <laughs> with the three of swords <laughs> that's a tricky card the three of swords is broken heart and pain and outrage and betrayal and wretchedness and woe uh, but it's in the reverse it's in the reverse i don't think so i don't think he's going to fall for it even though the card is in the reverse and you know traditionally a card in the reverse literally means the opposite so healing from heartache and betrayal but it can also mean a much more intense energy of heartache and betrayal and it's sitting under the star in reverse and I think that he feels that things are so bad and so wrong that the three of them, three of swords, cannot stand in a portrait together because William knocked him in the dog bowl and broke his necklace and um, Charles hasn't apologised and had therapy and uh, I think Charles has had extensive therapy actually and probably knowing him it was some sort of fancy kind um, you know like Jungian therapy or something he's that kind of man and uh, probably um, did some hugely deep diving into his subconscious um, and benefited from it enormously unlike has been um, my opinion speculating but the three of swords in reverse for me is sitting under the star in reverse terrible energy terrible energy of begrudgment and pain and um, you didn't come to Montecito and apologize and go to my therapist and um, do my um, drugs and try all my hippy dippy stuff, dippy hippy stuff, and whatever. And so I'm not going to go in that portrait with you. So there, that's it. Uh, of the interesting cards for me, well, these are terrible cards, just generally, all of them, except for that one. And that's a curious card, the Page of Wands. Uh, it's minor, it's, it's not a big deal kind of a card. It's try it, send out this message. Perhaps we can capture him and reprogram him. And uh, we'll see. That's the reading. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow.